A Rutgers-led team is a step closer to testing hypotheses about the, about the mass extinction that brought the age of the dinosaurs to an end. They're looking at new evidence of environmental changes which occurred some 65 million years ago. Science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan reports. Cylindrical cores recovered from drilling operations across New Jersey's coastal plain, with most sites located near known outcrops of marine sediments from around 65 million years ago, are now stored at Rutgers in Piscataway. Students, professors, and other collaborators in this project have begun cutting open the preserved core sections, carefully documenting their initial views and trying to correlate specific features from one site to another. Layers representing the transition now called the Cretaceous-Paleogene boundary should yield fresh evidence of how and why so many species died out at that time. The problem with outcrops, as you can see, is that they are more typically weathered. Some of them in turn from sediments, which are soft, into rocks, which are hard. And so you lose some of the geochemical and other signals that we want to study. By drilling a core, we get less altered sediments. So this is essentially the same thing from the core versus the outcrop. In the field, the ends of core sections serve as a rough guide. Split sections reveal much more, but the proof is in closer examination of small samples. Retired professor Richard Olson is looking for glassy spherules from the asteroid impact that is a prime suspect in the extinction event, and also for microfossils that provide a well-calibrated timeline within marine deposits. Selected samples will be tested for elevated levels of iridium and other signals associated with asteroid impacts. One of the keys and one of the challenges is determining if and how layers have been disturbed or materials have been transported over time. With 12 different locations, we're hopeful that the variations that we see as you move through Monmouth County will be enough to tell us what's going on. Patrick Regan, NJN News, Piscataway.